Guys, welcome back to the Sigma Real Estate Studios. I'm your host, Jimmy O'Done, and today we are setting the record straight on the real truth behind low down payment loans. Now, this is a topic I'm very passionate about because the expectations for buyers isn't being set straight and it's time to do that. So by the time this video is done, not only will you know if these are real or not, but you're also going to know what the hidden truth behind these really is. Let's go. Okay, so I keep hearing you could buy a home with three and a half percent down. You could buy one three percent down. Hell, you could even buy one with zero percent down. No money down. That sounds nice, doesn't it? So are they real? Yes, these these mortgages really exist. But buyers aren't being told the full story, unfortunately. And since they're not being told the full story, they're having terrible experiences. And more importantly, they're wasting a lot of time, money, and frustration when it comes to buying a home. So what's the hidden truth you're not being told? Well, first we have to understand the supply and demand chains of the majority of suburb markets right now. You see, supply right now is extremely low, right? So we have supply, low, and we have demand. Love my chicken scratch through the roof, okay? That's the first thing we need to know before we dive into the truth behind these mortgages. So when this occurs, prices for products, I'm sure you can guess, go up. What does this have to do with low down payment mortgages, you're probably wondering. So this type of supply and demand right now is causing homes to have multiple offers. So it's very rare right now that we're not seeing a home with at least three to five offers right out of the gate. Typically, low down payment loans are considered to be a lot riskier when you're comparing it to a loan that's at least 20% down or higher, or when you're comparing it to an all cash deal. We're currently seeing an abundance of 20% down and higher, and believe it or not, sometimes we're seeing even all cash deals. So here's the hidden truth right now. Buyers who are using these products are getting their hopes up because they now can buy a home too, right? 0% down, 3% down, 3.5% down it's a lot easier to save up to than having to wait for that 20%. Sure, a lot of people will agree. Now, buyers who are using these products are getting their hopes up because now they can buy a home too. It's a lot easier to save no money, 3% or 3.5% compared to 20%. But over time, their buying experience begins to go down because they're soon gonna find out that they're getting outbid time and time and time again because of all these offers, because of the 20% downs, because of the cashes. So please, buyers who are using these programs, understand that you have an uphill battle to find a home right now. It's just what it is. We don't have enough supply for the demand and low down payment loans are some of the last ones looked at. And a lot of times what you'll have to do to make up for that low down payment is go that much higher above asking, especially when it goes into a bidding war. And a lot of these buyers find that there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Now I'm not saying it's impossible to buy a home with three and a half percent down or 3% down, or even get a VA loan for 0% down. It's very possible. But when you find that one home that everybody else wants and they start cha-chinging up the offers, Odds are yours is gonna be left in the dust when compared to 20% and all cash. Like it or not, it is unfortunate, but these are the market conditions as we speak this very moment. And PS, loan officers out there, please do a better job in setting the correct expectations for these buyers when you're out there preaching about no money down, low down, three and a half percent down, terrible credit scores, doesn't matter, we'll get you a mortgage. Okay, so just do a better job at that. And I think a lot of buyers will have better expectations of the market. They'll know what to expect and they'll be better prepared when they, uh, when they enter the market. So these are the two words. These are the two words you need to find out in any market you're shopping with. What is the current supply? What is the current demand? And if demand outweighs supply, you're going to see multiple offers and you might have to bid on 100 homes before you get one accepted with a low down payment loan. Again, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but I really have to get this message across to everybody. And as usual, if you want to be notified when more videos like this come out, then please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell, and I will see you folks here next time.